Hey everybody, Carol here. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing another resin piece today. It's a hot plate and it's a belated birthday gift that I wanted to get finished. I'm using an eight inch mold that's actually for a cupcake stand. So it has a uh, preset hole in the middle, but I will camouflage that in the end and you will see how I do it. This is counterculture DIY medium viscosity uh, heat resistant resin and I've mixed it with a little bit of transparent ultra fine glitter in a mint green color and then I put a little bit as you see of the same resin into these two cups because what I'm going to do is try that uh, technique that I see others do to make flowers or starbursts with the cast and craft opaque pigment in white and then they'll either use just that or mix some alcohol inks in it to get the color they want usually putting in a piping bag but I'm going to do it with a cup because I'm not worried about having it come out very thin. I just want to have some interesting radial bands that will hopefully give me a cool design in the end. Her kitchen has a lot of copper and green, so in this first cup, I'm going to mix some DecoArt Extreme Sheen Copper acrylic paint because I don't have any uh, copper mica. And I love Extreme Sheen. And in the other cup, you will see me mix up some lemon yellow, some lime green, both alcohol inks, and then a splash of lawn green mica powder to get the green I'm looking for. Okay, and about eight hours later, I was able to actually off camera pop it slightly out of its mold. So as you can see, the little nib is actually flush with the top. 
So this way I can hopefully get a very thin covering over that to seal that because this is actually the back of the whole hot plate. And what you see me there is using two ounces of the same resin mixed with some passion purple alcohol ink and some dark purple mica powder. And I'm just going to put that in, spread it to the edges real nice, right to the end so that it'll mound and let that sit overnight. Okay, so it's the next day, and I'm carefully pulling the mold away from the edges. Can't wait to see how the whole thing came out. And I'm happy to see that the little center right there where the hole is got a slight covering, which is all I needed. And we will fill it up on the other side, as you will see when I do a top coat of plain resin and some purple glitter in the center. As you can see here, I'm carefully pushing the resin to the very edge to make a mound. I don't want it to go over because I'm going to leave the sides clear and see through because I think it's really cool looking. So thank you to all my subscribers, old and new, for sticking with me. I will be doing something with acrylic pouring next, I promise. But I wanted to get this done first and share the process with you all. And so the next day, here we are, all cured, looking nice and shiny, very organic. The edges are mounding perfectly. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and share this video. And I will be back again soon with another video. Till then, please stay safe, be kind, and have a great day.